My family swarms around the TV. My mother clasping her hands together as if the miracle within them would escape if she did not hold it tight enough. 2008 inauguration, first black president. She cries, history the sweet string of pearls around her neck. It is not a noose this time, but a victory lap. A star-spangled broken loop, a black man runs the White House built by slaves. A black woman runs the White House without cleaning it. A black family has all its daughters intact, glistening in their first family glory like a row of perfect teeth in the jaws of a nation that saw them as cavity, black with apology is what Obama's campaign taught me. Blackness is controversial, is hot button topic, is up for debate, op-ed, think piece, endless interrogation. I wonder now if Obama's passport had ever been mistaken for a gun, if a cop had ever laid sight on his soiled, soiled colored skin and thought it a good place to plant a bullet, what would grow in his wounds? I don't know. I don't stand for this nation enough to think it would learn from its mistakes. Could a cop get away with killing the most treasured house slave in America if he was black at an inappropriate time? What hours is Obama black at? Can I speak to his manager? He vomited up post-racial America in his farewell address. Bitter history crawling through his lips. It makes his hair gray. And leftist etiquette says do not sympathize. But my mother still has an Obama bumper sticker from 2008. Oppression is the noose around his neck. But it is also the tie he wears to work each morning. What does it mean to be black and order the death of innocence? I guess what I'm trying to say is... Is Obama still invited to the cookout after he finishes a drone strike? Is he still a homie when he deports 2.5 billion people? Blackness assimilated enough to hold the whip just like the master did. And yes, that is a testament to how far we have come. I empathize with you, Barack because seeing you hand the Oval Office to an honorary Klansman makes me think all this work is being erased, but still, you took a sip of Flint water and said it was fine. Gave the cops victims who could have been you only lip service. You did not end racism, just changed the wallpaper. Maybe black liberation will never just fit in a white man's ballot box. Watching his farewell address on our living room couch, we pick at the pearls adorning our necks. They have been pulled too tight. We are beginning to notice.